Hi, welcome to 5 Minute Guitar Lessons. In today's lesson, we're going to learn Wild Horses by the Rolling Stones, and that's on the album Sticky Fingers from 1971. Before you start this lesson, take a moment to check the link in the description and grab our chord chart. That'll help you follow along with this lesson and with the original recording. All right, here we go. Here are the chords used in this song. G. A minor. B minor. C. D. F. G over B. Now let's try the verse using only down strokes. One, two, three, four. So if you find yourself having trouble with that B minor chord, you might want to try playing an alternate version of that. Instead of playing it by barring our index there and then playing the A minor shape with these other three fingers, we can put our index finger on the second fret of the A string. We can skip this next string. We can mute it or we can leave it open. It's up to you. We can put our middle finger on the second fret of the G string and then the ring finger on the third fret of the B string, and then mute the high E with the underside of your ring finger. Sounds like this. Although I recommend eventually learning the bar chord, that is a good way to do the B minor chord for now if you find that your fingers are getting tired or if you just can't get a grip on that bar chord. The strumming pattern used in this song is down, down, up, down, 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 down. Before we try it out over the chords to the verse, let's take a look at the sixth measure where we're going from C to D within the same bar. At that point, we have to divide the strumming pattern over each of the chords. So we're going to go down, down, up, down, down on the C. And then we're just going to go down, down on the D. So when you put that bar together, this is what it looks like. So let's play the verse together now with the strumming pattern. One, two, three, four. The chorus goes like this. Mm -hmm. 
So that's pretty straightforward. We still have that one bar where the C and D share the strumming pattern, but now we also have a couple more bars where the G and F share a strumming pattern and where C and G over B share the strumming pattern. And in that case, they divide the strumming pattern at a different point. For instance, when going from G to F in measure three, for G we would play down, down, up. And then for F, we would play down, 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 down. And when you put that together, you get this. And we would split the strumming pattern the exact same way for the fourth measure where we change from C to G over B. I think we're ready to try this whole thing together now. One, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. 